Central Raiders 9 and 0 and the Pahokee Blue Devils 9 and 0. He steps up in the pocket, runs with the ball, fumble, fumble, oh, oh, oh. and the Blue Devils have it. Get it up, touchdown, Blue Devil. Now the Hokey is really throwing the great Central Raiders around here tonight. The fourth quarter, it's been all Raiders. Well, Bill, I'm changing a little bit. The Raiders, they got a chance. Let's go! Let's go out tonight and think about how hard we've worked and the sweat that we've gone through together. You know the X's and O's. You gotta hit, you gotta play football. But the one intangible is how bad you want it. Whether it's farming or football, the Glades region of South Central Florida has always been the most fertile ground in America. And Bell Glade is a very, very rich soil, which they call the muck. It grows about everything. You cannot bury anybody on the soil because anything that goes in that soil comes up. The towns of Bell Glade and Pahokee are an hour inland from West Palm Beach and each year their two schools meet in the Muck Bowl. The game has always been a showcase for America's best high school football talent, and this year is no exception. You're gonna have more than 10 guys on both teams playing major college football. I mean, we're talking Miami, we're talking Florida. These are definitely two of the top five football teams in the state year in and year out. The Glades Central Raiders have an enrollment of 1,200 and are the defending state champs in their class. Nine miles up the road and barely half the size, Pahokee High also won states last year and are nationally ranked this year, but they haven't won a muck bowl at Glades in over 20 years. I guess they feel like they're better than we are. You know, we believe otherwise. When you talked about the muck, you talked about Glades Central. Pahokee was kind of like the stepchild. Glades Central was once the big fish, but it has always been a little pond. Because of its remote location, the region feels isolated and overlooked. We've had a saying for the last couple years, we all we got, which, you know, basically typifies the Glades. We're all we got. We don't have all the malls, the theaters. We don't have a lot of the amenities that other people have. We don't have a whole lot of resources here, but there are a few things that we hold dear to our heart, and that's the fact that there's not a lot of places in this country that have what we call the muck. And no one else has the muck bowl. This year, both teams are undefeated, but every year, the muck bowl has a standing room only crowd and the atmosphere of a New Year's Day bowl game. The stadium capacity is 8,000, but 8,000 people are probably already here. You're gonna have anywhere from 10 to 12 tonight. 10,000 people at the least. This is a Pahokee Blue Devil fan. I came down by bus. I left by 12 o'clock midnight from DC. The bus uh, broke down on us and they had to send another bus four hours later. I mean, we're minutes away from kickoff here. I'm without my color guy, Ricky Jackson. And when I say Ricky Jackson, yes, former pro bowler for the New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl champ for the Niners. He's a Pahokee Blue Devil, and he's stuck out in traffic right now because why? There's thousands of people everywhere. It really, the muck bowl is the bragging rights. Bragging rights. Bragging rights. Who really controls the muck? Every kid is like, in your jeans, you want to just beat for hokey. I can honestly say if I work next to somebody from Belle Glade, I would tell them every day, last year we beat you. And, and they would say the same thing. They come off the farms. They come out of town. Because this is for bragging rights. This is the big game. We came to do one thing. Play football. Our style. Monk City style. We going all out. We're leaving it all on the field. This is our county, man. This blue of the county. They made a comment. Well, they've been battling to the end of games all year. They haven't played their best game yet. 
Well, guess what? We haven't played our best game yet. You know how I know? Because we worked hard to make it that way. And Blade Center and the other team gonna stand in front of our destiny. This is our time, this is our destiny, and we gonna knock that off tonight. Go out there and hit them right in the mouth. Hit them right in the mouth. Keep doing it for four quarters. Four quarters. I'm going to say three words. Do your job. Do your job. Don't worry about the next man. If you do your job, everything is going to go the exactly the way we planned it. Let's go. I was looking for you earlier. I thought you were going to have to get flown in by helicopter, uh -huh. baby. And Rick, we're about ready to get this thing underway. Glade Central's starting quarterback is number eight, DeAndre Holly. Holly is starting his first muck bowl, and on the game's first series, it shows. The first play of the muck bowl here from the Glade Central Raiders. Holly's looking deep. He throws. This ball is overthrown. Dog it. Go, go. But passing isn't his greatest asset. There's a reason he has the nickname he does. Run, Speedy! Run! Oh, Speedy. Holly is a senior who shared time all season with two other quarterbacks. Coach Willie Sneed took a democratic approach to the position and to the decision on who would start. He's been on varsity the longest, has the most experience. So it was a kind of a decision that the seniors made. Every senior came together and they had voted like who they want to quarterback, even though we rotate. So it was DeAndre Holly because under pressure, he does good in good game. Move those sticks. And he also likes to move, move them sticks. Sticks. One more time. You got it. Moving the sticks with his legs is Speedy's specialty, but he uses his arm to move the Raiders into scoring range. This ball is caught by Ravis Wood as he went up for it at the 15-yard line. Unfortunately for the Raiders, that's as close as they would get and would settle for a 42-yard field goal attempt. Let's go. Here's the snap. The hold, the kick is up, and it is good through the yellow upright to that big rear field. A 42-yard field goal have plenty of distance. That's a pretty long field goal for high school, 42 yards. 